Oke. Okay. Uh, on this video, I will show you how to link the MySQL database to the front end Microsoft Access. First, we need to configure the ODBC connection. Go to the control panel, administrative tools, then click the ODBC, either 32 bit or 64 bit, no problem. Then here we will add the server or the connection. Uh, my SQL we, uh, we will uh, use this okay then here in the database source uh, we will put the name test DB and description we will put as testing and here in the TCP IP server we will put uh, local server and the port is 3307 because the default 3306 I already uh, use it uh, the user is root and the password the password is uh, the password of the MySQL server and then test yeah successfully connected so now you can select where, where is the, the database here test db okay so you can select now then okay after that uh, we will link that uh, database to my my, SQ, my uh, microsoft x access okay close that one mm, we will uh, link the database to here so external data click that one and here we will select uh, SQL server okay and then don't import we need uh, we will use a link okay yeah and then here we have two tab we need to use the machine data source which is this computer so now you can see the test uh, DB now click OK then you, you see you can see the uh, customer table and user now we will open the MySQL server you can see here the same so what we will do select all then OK yeah successfully link the table to our front and Microsoft Access. We will try if when I update the table, for example, we will put another uh, value or data inside of the table. Then we will see here in the MySQL server if updated or not. All right. So okay try we will try it microsoft access here the user okay so now we will try this uh, table customer well, we will put the uh, car uh, truck okay now you, you see uh, number 5 then automatic giving you a number 6 because the ID it is a in auto increment we set up in MySQL server there is auto increment the ID is auto increment so you know yun, you see that so we will ch check here refresh okay so in your server it's automatic it's refreshed it's stored the data in the table okay so i hope 
this is help in our uh, project how to expand our project to make it big uh, storage not only the Microsoft Access okay next video I will show you how to design the form okay for now that's all bye bye